May 19th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start in Fukushima, Japan. Uh, they're reporting the number one reactor at the Fukushima nuclear power plant failed almost immediately in the magnitude 9 earthquake. Um, they're saying the backup uh, cooling system lasted about 10 minutes and then failed. Uh, and then the tsunami hit, and of course. We know the rest of the story, or at least we think we do, and they tell whatever story they feel like telling this week, or today, actually. Let's start over with uh, EarthChangesScott.net today. A stroll on the Gulf Beach yields a dolphin disposal. Laurel Lock Lockamy has seen her share of dead sea life washing up on the beaches of Mississippi. Like a few other residents, she's toted her camera along whenever she goes, documenting the, the dolphins, sea turtles, redfish, and plethora of dead birds that seems to be washing in unusually high numbers. Uh, that isn't stopping the Gulf business from hoping for a better year than last year, when beaches were soaked in oil and tourism vanished with the black tide. Now there are signs of businesses rebounding. Tourist industries in Florida's Panhandle reported better than expected traffic this year. Some in Congress, in fact, are pushing for an increased drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. Jesus. With fewer safety and environmental reviews of the process. It seems some lawmakers have short memories. Uh, but not all is well with the, in the Gulf. High numbers of endangered sea turtles and dolphins have washed into, onto the beaches. A long number of fatalities is declining. Scientists still don't know what has caused the spike in deaths, and uh, that should tell you everything. U.S. Colorado, latest storm brings to bring even more rain and mountain snow. A strong Pacific storm will bring rain and snow to the mountains and showers to the Front Ridge Wednesday, the National Weather Service said tonight. Uh, so we got another big storm system rolling through the United States. Uh, records for rain, cold temperatures are broken in Southern California, and they have a new storm moving in. Uh, here's one for the Harp crew. Atmosphere above Japan heated rapidly before the magnitude 9 earthquake. Infrared emissions above the epicenter increased dramatically in the days before the devastating earthquake in Japan, say scientists. Geologists have long puzzled over uh, anecdotal reports of strange atmospheric phenomenon in the days before big earthquakes, but good data to back up these stories have been hard to come by. In recent years, however, the various teams have set up atmospheric monitoring stations in the earthquake zones, and a number of satellites are capable of sending back data about the state of the upper atmosphere and the, the ionosphere during an earthquake. And uh, they definitely got some pictures of some an anomalies, and uh, of course I'll provide the link below. Some good news. Antarctic, Antarctic iron-laden icebergs fertilize ocean. Efforts to remove climate warming carbon dioxide from the Earth's atmosphere appear to be getting a helping hand from, the from a surprising source. The iron in the meltwater from Antarctic icebergs Icebergs calving off the Antarctica are shedding substantial iron, the equivalent of a growth-boosting vitamin into the water starved of minerals, a new set of sub studies demonstrates. This, is, this iron is fertilizing the growth of microscopic plants and algae, transferring the waters adjacent to the ice flows into teeming communities of everything from tiny shrimp-like krill to fish, birds, and sometimes mammals. And uh, I was reporting um, the reports of whales. Um, down there way longer than they're supposed to be. Clipping wings when volcanoes erupt. Uh, this is a story about air transport officials launched a no-fly zone when Iceland's uh, un <laughs> volcano reared its ugly head last year, but was the move justified, blah, blah, blah. Uh, U.S. heavy rainfall may be linked to sharks' deaths off the coast of California. This winter's heavy rains, uh, beneficial to so many species, uh, may in fact be diluting the salt water in San Francisco Bay so dramatically that leopard sharks are dying in the very spots where they prefer to give birth and search for food, scientists said. Tuesday. Uh, Bogota cut off from northeast Colombia. 
Um, Colombia's capital, Bogota, has been cut off from a large part of the northeast of the country after landslide destroyed a bridge connecting the capital with the city of um, Bucaramanga Tuesday evening. According to media reports, the landslide took place 15 miles south of and has uh, disconnected Bogota. Yeah, they got to go around big, large street tour, and again, um, this is Colombia, ongoing, ongoing South South America, um, it's just severe weather, just like we're having right here, and everybody else. Eruption at Nicaraguan volcano, Tilaca volcano, uh, Nicaragua's Tilaca volcano spewed a massive cloud of gas and ash into the air Tuesday, following several strong explosions. The material was ejected uh, 1.2 kilometers into the air above the crater. And uh, Seint Seismological Institute um, said a total of 50 explosions were recorded. Uh, scientists seek sleepy volcanoes wake-up call. And this is a study they're doing on Mount St. Helens. And uh, when she might reemerge over to the extinction protocol. Uh, sleepy, sleepy New York hamlet sees homes teetering down a slope. Um, all the severe, all the rain and rain and rain we've been having in the Northeast, just days and days and days. Uh, Keene, New York. Weeks of relentless rain have destabilized a massive section of hillside in the Ard Ardrans Acres neighborhood in the Keene Valley, which sits on the slopes of Porter Mountain. So I uh, got a massive landslide um, slowly happening due to all the excessive range. Here's a pretty interesting story. Space may be littered with untold number of dead floating planets. The discovery is based on a joint Japan-New Zealand survey that scanned the center of the Milky Way galaxy during 2006 and 2007, revealing evidence for up to, for up to 10 free-floating planets, roughly the mass of Jupiter. The isolated orbs are also known as orphan planets and are difficult to spot and had gone undetected until now. So apparently um, when solar systems form, of course, some of these planets get ejected and they're just out wandering about the universe, or the, the galaxy at least, and they're saying this might take up for a lot of the missing mass uh, of the galaxy <clears throat> and of the universe. And, of course, the, they get way into it more than I do. Ocean chaos increasing hundreds of dead fish wash up on Australian beaches. Albany, West Australia. The Department of Fisheries says a strong Lewin current is causing an unusual species of fish to wash up on Albany shores. Dozens of oceanic sunfish have been found dead on Goody Beach and Frenchman's Bay. The sunfish is a native to tropical and temperate waters. Um, so they've got a sunfish washing up on the shores there. That's kind of crazy. Massive landslide severs Columbia, of course. And more than one million feral camels are overrunning the Australian outback. And uh, single humpty dumpty, single humped. Dome dairy camels were brought to Australia mainly from India in the 19th century. They transport, transported people and equipment in the outback, but when the rail and roads came, the camels were let loose, creating the world's only population of wild camels. It is now estimated that more than 1 million camels are spread over 3.3 million square kilometers, and they are causing a lot of damage to the local ecosystem. They can do enormous damage, um, and I'm sure... Get that back up. And, uh, yeah, I guess how that would be a major problem, especially in Australia. They've got, you know, such a diverse ecosystem than the rest of the world. Uh, Russia and China flex their muscles. The global restlessness Russia warns West over new Cold War. And, um... Pakistan's Prime Minister sealed a series of agreements with China on Wednesday, highlighting Istanbul's warm ties with Beijing among heightened tensions with Washington over the killing of Osama bin Laden. So here we go. They're gearing us up for uh, 
what what is this World War four now five I forget an unprecedented century of natural disasters is upon us here says the fear piece and they're talking about the transformers exploding all over the United States Texas that are still going off in crazy places and over to the watchers Bahama sink while one island mysteriously rises all the islands in the Bahamas were thought to be slowly sinking, but now scientists find one quirky isle going against the crowd. The anomaly suggests that the area may, may be less seismically stable than previously thought. Scientists focused on the small island of Mayaguana in the southeast Bahamas, which measures about 33 by 7 miles. They noticed the shallow banks of rocks called marine carbonates above ground and they, they are usually uh, present dozens of feet under the water so that they're thinking the islands raising out and that's right on that shelf area right there the Caribbean's not that stable if you watch earthquakes at all of course the Morgan spillway open on the Mississippi River they closed it for a short while and uh, opened it up to one ship at a time or one barge at a time traffic Monsanto pesticides found to infect plants with AIDS-like disease. And again, that's that geoengineering crap. Thousands of dead walleye wash up on Lake Erie. And 20 signs of incoming global food crisis. In case you haven't noticed, the world's on the verge of a horrific global food crisis. And at, at some point, this crisis will affect you and your family. It may not be today, and it may not be tomorrow, but it's going to happen. Crazy weather and horrifying natural disasters have played havoc along the agricultural production in many areas of the globe over the past couple of years. Meanwhile, the price of oil has steadily increased. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And of course, we're coming into this economic disaster. Uh, we're in the midst of the economic disaster, of course. And uh, everything else that's going on... Um, Especially with, with the, the crop loss, the crop loss, the, the fish loss that I've been reporting on uh, month after month after month. Um, definitely going to be a rough winter. El Nino will get more extreme. And EU Art Agricultural Chief Slams GMOs express strong support for natural agriculture. And here these people are fighting these um, Monsanto and stuff. Mount Azo. Japan alert level raised to two and well they really are pushing the hemp oil stories and they've got another story fighting the damage caused by radiation with hemp oil that is about all I have for you today of course leave your comments or post your videos below until I see you again enjoy while you can everybody thanks